I'm Mark Brotwell from Brightwell Films. Today's tutorial we'll be looking at the comparison of two Cine Prime lenses, the Zine CF 35mm and the Zeiss 35mm. The exciting and accurate part of this comparison is we are lucky to have two lenses with identical specs, both T1.5 great in low light and both super fast. Today we'll be talking on a variety of topics, colour science, look and feel, breathing, bokeh, light refraction and lens flare, one of my favourites, size and weight, and of course the thing we all hate, price. But overall, the functionality of these two incredible lenses. So we're going to use this Lamac chart to determine the breathing of both lenses. Let's start with the zine. As we rack focus towards the background, taking note of the corners of the chart, we can see slight to minimal breathing occur. Then as we change and move our focal point to the foreground, we also see a slight zoom and again, slight to minimal breathing. I would say a few millimetres of breathing whilst throwing short and deep, but quite even across the two. Let's now turn to the Zeiss, where we focus more on the background beyond the chart. Again, very similar to the Zine, with slight to minimal breathing. Let's now change the focus to the foreground, where again we see a slight zoom in the corners of the chart, and again, so after comparing the two lenses, the breathing is a little bit more evident to me when throwing shallow. One of my favourite things with all lenses is the bokeh, or the representation of the bokeh. And I think what excites me most about this is it gives great depth and focus uh, on the subject, but also enhances the composition of the shot, which is just absolutely beautiful. So let's have a look at the difference between the two. Well, I'm happy to say that after comparing the Bokeh in both lenses, the Zine and the Zeiss, I found very difficult to really see much of a difference between the two. Sitting here at 2.0, 0.5 off being wide open, we get to see a great representation of the lenses and their Bokeh. In this colour test, I am using my producer Richard Williams. Here we start with the Zine CF. As we can see, the skin tones, everything looks quite beautiful and a hint of red and yellow. Probably more so emphasised by the red helium sensor and some contrast of course. When we alternate to the Carl Zeiss, we see a shift in the RGB spectrum to a more neutral look and feel. Even sitting at 5.6, it feels that the sensor is capturing a little more light, making the frame a little brighter. When we compare them side by side, this makes everything a little more obvious. But both lenses delivering a beautiful result. So over the past 10 years, I've had the opportunity of using a great diverse range of lenses and lens flare is so different and evident in each particular lens. And we're gonna to look today at how the Zine CF 35mm performs and also the Carl Zeiss 35mm. So as we start with the Zine and we pan from right to left slowly, we see obvious lens flare occurring just minimally and quite an obvious representation of the lighting source. We can see some obvious chromatic aberration with the red, green and the blue. We then switch to the Zeiss and do the exact same thing. Again, as we move right to left, we see the obvious representation of the light source, some obvious chromatic aberration. We then go outside and drop roughly a stop to 1.5 wide open. I thought putting the lenses in a real life situation and braking on the car tail lights, we could then see what the lenses would do in the situation. 
Again, both not being pushed here, but in the perfect environment, these two lenses would be very exciting. The lens kit from the 16mm through to the 85mm. The selling point of these lenses is obviously the size and weight in comparison to majority of your other master primes. But here we're comparing the Zeiss 35mm. Let's dive into it. The two lenses weigh roughly the exact same at 1.1 kilograms, give or take. Although the Zine 35mm in this case is larger in length, the Zeiss makes up for it similarly in the width, making the two lenses quite compact as they both state. So when we look at the price of the two lenses, there is a considerable difference. The Zine comes in here in Australia at around 3,200, whereas the Zeiss 7,100. That is roughly 2.5 times the price of the Zine for what I see as a very similar, near identical result. So I love the result of both the lenses today and the things that we compared. There are a few variances, skin tones with the Zeiss comparison to the Zine CF 35mm. The Zeiss being a little more neutral, whereas your Zine CF a little bit more red in contrast, and again your Zeiss a little bit flatter, a little bit less shadow. Um, I guess when we cut to the chase, the biggest difference between the two lenses was the price. And as I said in Australian dollars, the Zine CF 35mm came in at 3200 opposed to the Zeiss CP2, which was 7100 So, you know, quite a difference uh, in price there. Um, you did see, obviously, the areas in which I dived into today, and to me, they were, you know, quite similar across the board um, in a lot of the tests, but there were some areas where they did differ. Um, so that's up to you, the cinematographer or the shooter, and I hope the tutorial today helps you make an informed decision on your next lens purchase.